Hey y'all. Um, I decided today I'm going to do, I've seen a lot of people doing these tree ring pours. So it looks kind of cool. It's not exactly a pour, but it kind of is. Um, and I just wanted to give it a try. I haven't had a whole lot of success with my pours, past couple pours. So sometimes you just want to step back and do something fun and something without silicone. So you're not dependent on the silicone to make your painting look cool. So, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try. I haven't done this. I haven't tried it off camera yet. So this is the first attempt. So we will see how it goes. Um, I got my cup here. I kind of mashed it so that it has a point to it. So I can kind of, you know, pour it out. Um, and I've, from what I've watched, um, it seems like it's better to just do one layer of each color and then stop. Um, and you're supposed to do it in tiny little circles and I'm not in, and then, you know, you just do it and do it and do it. I'm not entirely sure. I've got all the patience for that. So I'm going to try it and we'll see how it goes. This is just an old canvas. I've wiped off. Got another one sitting over there that I wiped off too. <laughs> that's drying. So you can see my paintings are not cooperating with me lately. So Oh, there's something on there so let me brush that off we don't want nothing on there so we're going to coat the canvas first in white like i said there's no silicone this is just a uh this is just the artist loft uh the flow acrylic the white flow acrylic this whatever color this is i don't know what the name of this color is but it's just one of those paint samples that i got from uh home depot and it's just such a pretty color i love this color so we'll call it dark turquoise and then this blue is uh i want to say it's admiral blue yeah admiral blue from apple barrel you got it right that time Woohoo! and then this pink is one of my favorites it is the cranberry from apple barrel i just love the color and look how pretty those colors go together at least i think they do if you don't want to have too many colors in your tree ring just from what i've seen now it would be cool I, i'm kind of if this works after i try it several times I think it might be kind of cool to add a few more colors just to see how it goes. It might be kind of overload. So we're going to just start with three colors and see how it goes. I'm just going to start pouring white on my canvas. Hopefully it'll cover over all the turquoise. I need to save some of my white for my, uh, you know, my tree ring itself. Let me get one of these little sticks <clears throat> and, uh, or shove the paint around a little bit so I don't pour it all off of one side and not have enough. And hopefully that'll settle a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just sort of spread it around. And of course, you know, once you, once you start pouring that paint in the center, it's going to push the white out anyway. So hopefully by that point, I'll have enough. And, uh, I don't really know what this would do. I haven't seen anybody. I don't know. There's probably somebody out there that's done this with silicone, but I haven't seen anybody yet. So um, it might be kind of a cool experiment. I might do it where I do one um, pour with uh, without silicone and then one pour with the silicone, maybe. All right, let's get that over the edges. Out of the way, bud. Cup, Mr. Cup. All right. Let's get that over the edge. It's probably going to have to use my fingers now. Oh, I hope that, <laughs> I hope that white will, will cover over that turquoise. Because we don't want that coming through. But I think the paint will, will push it outwards anyway. So, hopefully. All right. That's, let's just take, take some of this white and shove it over the side here. And hopefully it'll be thick enough where it'll cover over. You know, if it doesn't, oh well. Lesson learned. Just so your canvas that you've already used and. And uh, yeah, then you know, then you don't have to worry about whether that odd color is going to show through. But you know what? It actually doesn't really much matter because it's almost the same color that I've got in one of those cups. So if it comes through, oh well, no big deal, right? Make sure you get the corners there because I kind of hope I'm going to have a little bit of negative space left over. I don't really know how much paint to pour on this and when to stop I have, since I haven't tried it before. So. I might pour too much paint in it. It'll spread it throughout the entire canvas and you know, I won't have any negative space left, but I'm hoping for some negative space because the ones that I saw were really cool. And uh, I commented on one and she said, you got this. So with some, uh, some fellow YouTuber support, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, the first time is going to be success, but you don't know. So let's go and get a little bit 
move around a little bit just so it's yeah and like I said um, it's the first time I'm doing this so I don't really know what I'm doing I'm just going off what other people are doing they say um, keep the white a little thinner so it'll flow off the you know the, the paint that you pour in the middle can okay good enough we'll go from there right let me wash this white off my hands make it so it'll flow off the canvas easily kind of push it aside <clears throat> one thing to remember um, that I noticed uh, the last color you put in is going to be center no wait the first color you put in is going to be in the center so say I pour white into my cup it's going to be the one that comes out in the center so I'll do you know I'll do the white first because I want it to be pale in the center and darker up towards that so we're going to do the dark blue and the turquoise uh, on the outside and see how it goes so what did I just say <laughs> um, so we're going to do the white first because I'd like to have white come out last so just a little bit um, and then you know how about um, the pink and I don't want to mix these colors too much I just want them layered hopefully that will work and then let's do the blue on top of that and I really don't know how much paint I'm actually going to have to have for this and then we're going to do the turquoise on top of that. And hopefully they didn't mix too much in the cup. All right, so let's move those out of the way. There we go. A lot of paint left over. Um, and I don't remember if they swirled through it, so we're going to swirl through it and hope that that doesn't ruin the whole thing. That looks like way too much turquoise on the top, but we'll see, right? Okay, you're supposed to do it. Really tiny little circles. You're supposed to do this with a lot of patience. I definitely feel like I've got way too much turquoise in there. But you can kind of see the blue coming through there now. And hopefully next it'll be the pink. Or what would, you, what would happen if you did this like on a spinning record? I don't know. It probably wouldn't turn out very well. <laughs> the record would just spin everything off like it always does. And it feels like my paint is kind of stopped. Oh, look, there's the paint coming through. I don't know if you can see it, and I can't stop to show you, but it's pretty. And this is supposed to come out looking like tree rings. So, I'm not really sure how much further I need to go with this, but I'm getting some white and some pink coming out, and I really want more white and pink. So I'm just going to pour a little bit more on here. It's actually looking pretty cool. So we'll see what it looks like once once I uh, tilt the canvas. And I watch you, and that's, <clears throat> excuse me, where you have to have a super amount of patience. Okay, that might be enough. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> so, oh, I dripped right there. No, that'll probably pour off. Okay, so you have to have a super amount of patience with this because you got to do it really slowly so you don't lose those beautiful circles. But they are really cool looking. Oh. So hopefully you'll have patience enough to watch this to the end here. But I'm doing pretty good so far. They're staying concentric circles here. And I really super love my color palette. So I might do it like a dirty pour with the rest of this paint just because the colors are so pretty. That turquoise is just awesome. I'm totally a turquoise fanatic. So if you like turquoise, you totally get me. Okay. I don't know. Oh, it's going off the side. Okay. Relax. Relax. Slowly. <laughs> This is actually kind of fun, but I'm a little worried I have too much paint and it's going to dry like cracked in the center. Look at the way the um, bands are doing in the center. It's like they're peeling apart. Maybe I'm, you know, dragging this a little too hard. Little, tilting it a little too heavily, maybe. I don't know, but I'm so liking this. Oh, too much going off the side. Bring it back, bring it back. Have patience. 
I don't know, should I take it all the way off that side? I really don't know. It, it's looking kind of cool though, right? I'm feeling like maybe I should bring it off this corner. Like totally off this corner, leave just the three corners with, uh, I don't know if it's going to let me. Oh, wow. This is fun. Okay, if y'all need a break from pouring, try this. This is is totally cool. Okay, I feel like I should pour it off of this corner. I kind of want to pour it off the corner, but I'm actually a little afraid to pour it off that corner. It actually kind of looks like a exploding rose. So I think I'm, I'm not going to... I don't know. I don't know. What should I do? I think I'm going to leave that corner there. I kind of like the four corners being white. I'm just going to bring it back towards that corner just a little bit, bring some of that pink back, and then I'm going to set it down and leave it because this is cool. I hope this dries like this. This is so awesome. I'm just going to take the torch to it real quick. And, uh, okay, I think I, I kind of like it. Well, no. Well, shoot, I don't know. I kind of like it like this. All right, so I am going to leave it right there. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to braise the torch over it really super quick, get those air bubbles out, and then I'm totally not going to touch it at all. So hopefully I won't get, like, cells from them. You can see a little bit of cells, and that's not from silicone. I did not do any silicone. That's just from the paints, like the weights of the paints. Ah, oh, I'm so... So psyched. This is so awesome. I'm totally going to do this again. Beautiful. Okay. Look, that was a quick video. Um, this is fun. So if you got it, 10 minutes, just go into your studio and do a, a tree ring pour. Yeah, it's not exactly circular, but I mean, what tree is perfectly circular? So go try this. This is so much fun. It is so cool looking. I'm thinking I might bring the torch over these corners because they're kind of bringing up some bubbles. And uh, I want to... I don't want those bubbles to stick. I think it's like running into the into the white there. All right, that's it, friends. Y'all go out and make one of these. This is totally fun. And remember, the most important thing about this is patience. Patience. If you have kids, you should probably have the patience. So, all right, thank you for watching. Go out and have an awesome evening. Make some awesome art. See you later. Bye. Oh, wait. I totally forgot. I wanted to show you this painting that I did. Uh, the painting that I covered in resin. I mean, not resin. I'm sorry. Um, that I coated in the polyacrylic. Look at that. I'm going to try and angle it really far. So hopefully the, the light will catch it for you. It dried awesome. It did not turn any of the white, yellow. It's got a nice, smooth sheen to it. Real soft feeling. It's beautiful. So, polyacrylic works really well. So, okay. That's, that's, my, that's it for the night. And y'all go out and make some awesome art. And see you later. Bye.